Let's get to Jim and stop trading. Some of the good news in the Nike call was that they really identified, they kind of shafted uh, Dix and Foot Locker. I just want to mention that Mary Dillon's got a, a basketball program with them that is terrific. I would not sell Foot Locker after reading this conference call. It's very, very positive about how they had been one of the companies that had been left to dry. And that's no longer the case. Very positive. Overall, Jim, you think uh, we're stuck in irons here while we figure out Israel's response? Yeah, I, I do. And then, of course, the employment number on Friday. I, I do think that the bias that you see at the end of the day is rather extraordinary. There's just tremendous buying comes at the end of the day. And it's not just Chinese buying. That is true. Yeah, that's definitely some recoveries yesterday. How about that? How about tonight? Okay, we've got Conagra. We're going to try to explain why the stock, had, which is, by the way, they've had some good volume growth in, in Frozen uh, and in Snacks, and it's not reflected because they did have this whole this, this this Hebrew National Factory problem. Then at Levi's, let's see if they can pull up. This is one of the things. This is one of the great one of the great denim markets, and Levi has not been able to uh, capitalize from that. And then uh, Matthew Prince has got some amazing stuff that I think can really help. When you're using AI, uh, there's a lot of mistakes that are made. Well, he's going to be able to show you a product that kind of eliminates a lot of mistakes. And he's also going to talk about, uh, well, let's just say, I, I hope to get him on the election. He is someone who can really stop the Russians, the Chinese, from hacking us. Because that, the Russians, they have a candidate that they want. They don't like the other guy. And it's pretty important. I didn't want to get in politics, so I didn't say her in the name. No, no, our intelligence services have made no secret about that as well. Who do the Russians want you then? I think we all know who they want. Right. Well, yeah. How many, how many electoral votes? How many electoral, electoral votes do the Russians yeah. get? Yeah. Pennsylvania doesn't know. I'm not from Pennsylvania. I mean, Russia is like a, near uh, France, right? Yes. Uh, Jim, we'll see you tonight.